The bomb went off not far from here, on the main road near the entrance of the sprawling Eidgar Mosque in eastern Kabul, where a funeral service was reportedly being held for the mother of Taliban official Zabiula Mujahid. It's the first major attack in Kabul since the departure of U.S. forces, with a number of people killed and others injured. According to a Taliban spokesperson, three suspects were arrested. In August, 169 Afghans and 13 U.S. servicemen were killed in a terrorist attack at Kabul International Airport. It was claimed by terrorist group Islamic State in Khorasan, a local affiliate of the Islamic State group, which itself maintains a strong presence in the eastern Afghan province of Nangarhar. The group has claimed several attacks on the Taliban, which it considers an enemy. These include recent ones in Nangarhar state capital of Jalalabad and a deadly roadside bomb blast north of Kabul on Friday. Attacks by the Islamic State group and other terrorist organizations could pose a potentially serious threat to stability in the region as Afghanistan emerges from 20 years of war, facing potential economic and social collapse.